Well, morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to what is a bit of a delayed catch up of the uh, demolition site. And God damn, does it look like I missed a lot. Didn't even realise the uh, canopy had come down. I'll show you what I can see from here. But, my God, looks like I missed all that lot coming down. Don't know when that came down. I have to see if someone else has got it or whatever, but I mean, wow, didn't exactly expect to uh, see it like that, but wow, oh well, I've missed that as you can see the uh, muncher digger thing is uh, having some fun over there. But, anyway, let's go. A bit further up and see what else is going on because uh, I haven't been here for a little while. The past few days I've uh, been a wee bit busy, so I've been out of the loop with what's going on with all this. But uh, that is definitely uh, something that I, I personally thought would take a little bit longer. I thought they were going the way I saw it, I thought they were going to be leaving that to stand a little bit more after they've done all the cleanups or something and then take it down but hey don't know I might have missed that during the weekend not so sure let's have a look at what's uh, going on over here I'll give you a quick look of uh, and then you can uh, see what else is up there see if you just stay on through it all that. God damn. That was looking pretty clean from what I can see on that camera. But this lot over here though, jeez, it's coming down pretty damn quick. And uh, just being cheap because it's been a short stack, I can't see much. Even though, yes, I do have a big boot, some of the inch and a half rising them are still short stack as hell. Up coming down pretty it's amazing how much is there. And you can see where like, the windows were connected there with the mirror effect. It looked like there was more stuff there. A mess. And someone needs to go on that roof and clean that tree out. Anyway, pause. But, so they're doing a little bit more clean up through here. The guy in like, the skid loader playing about with a little bit of muck and Anything else, which is uh, awesome. It won't be long until stuff starts going on over here because it looks like they're just doing clean up on this side. But since they've got a bit of a clearer shot to have a look at what the long reach is doing, which I think is probably just on the pause for a second. But that's having a bit of fun. Oh no, wait, no, it's doing something. This is uh, impressive work. But how quickly they've taken this down because they started at the start of the year and they're like, well, well over, probably well over halfway through what they can take down currently without the market being in. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that thing's. Uh, Having a good play with the new metal work, having a go at pulling the rebar out and making sure that the uh, concrete is nice and broken up. Yeah, if anyone knows where I always get any footage of that going down or you know like if, if the you know, like if Elder got it or if the demolition guys made a video of all the canopy coming down put it in the comments because I missed it 
I haven't really been on the computer for a few days because I've been uh, way busy with everything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of like a bit goffed up at the moment. Stupid me, I've got my bag but I forgot my bloody glasses. So, obviously yeah, I'm going to be a wee bit bland for a little while. But these things really don't help me either, to be honest. But, hey. That's by the by. Anyway, let's have a quick sneaky peek of what's going on on the other bits and then we'll find out more. Because I've been well out of the loop and I don't know what's going on. So it's got a few days of Charlie, Brown Preston, so, you know. One day I'm going to have to go back and do it walk around the town and see what actually was new from the last time I did a walk around the town in Charlie. Because, what, well, my last videos from Charlie, I think, was, well, before they were deleted, used to be where the uh, youth zone was, or now is, back there, close to the railway station, so. Hey, I missed a lot of stuff with that, because I moved. And I seem to have missed quite a bit of stuff with this. Anyway, Pop key through here and then we will see what Not much has changed from this angle from what I can see anyway. Plus. Ah well. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> right, it's alright, sorry. <laughs> Just accidentally bumped into someone whilst I was backing out, but um anyway. Pause! Ha! Damn! They've been doing some work. Wow. You can see way, way, way through that now. He's got a better look from this angle. But, jeez, there's not much of that left at all. Wow. Yeah, we're at the back of B&M's. One of the better spots. Uh, got one of the, like, big mechanical dino munchies. Thingy my bobs on its go, there's like some K rail over there, some guardrail hanging on by a thread. But geez, there ain't much of this left now. Man, oh man. I know I'm going to get dirty, but I don't really care. That's a bit better to get dirty than what she needs, to be honest. But man. We pulled that down pretty quickly then. Considering it's what eight days since I was here last. See all the way through to an escalator there. Eh? Zoom you in. Yeah, you can feel the floor shake when that monster goes over. Jeez. Probably got that thing there and with how it feels at the moment it's starting to try to drizzle. So maybe the weather will help them out. Uh, those dustbuster cannon things can only do so much. But, man. But what was the marvellous mound of muck is now quite a small pile. So a good pile of rebar and steel and recycle over there. With another cannon going off in the background. That one there, the guy on the dumper really cool. But this is just like mad. With how quickly this has come down, it's just insane. Considering last week there was a good chunk of that there, and you could see that canopy. But man, that is impressive how much of that has gone down. I'm going to do that again. These back doors are no longer in use. Don't really think you can see much from this angle, but a lot of that is still kind of there. As you can see, they are so close to that end over there. Yeah. This one's a shorter one since I've uh, done some longer ones. I'll keep this one a wee bit shorter. It's, uh, hey, you never know. But, I mean, my views on this at the moment is they're coming on absolutely amazing with this. They're taking it way back and it's coming way off. But 
If I spot anything else, I'll uh, put it in because I've uh, got to go back that way towards the bus station and everything. Anyway, so let's see what's over there. But, hey, have a look. If I don't find anything else and don't put anything else in, then I will sign off here. So, if you like it, give it a thumb up. If you want to help it all, subscribe and then share the heck out of all of this. If you've got anything that you want to comment, stick it in the comments down below. You know, like anything else. Like, what shops would you like to see? What stores would you like to see when it's all come up? Um, you know, like with this whole thing of, like, you know, when the cinema ever gets built, stuff like that. What cinema company do you reckon is going to be there? Do you reckon that someone's going to take over the old cinema site? Um, again, what restaurants and stuff like that would you like to see? What other businesses would you like to see come into the area? You know, would you like more like sports stores? Would you like more restaurants and food? More entertainment? Brasseries? Things like that. You know, partnership with microbreweries? Whatever. You know, stick all your comments and insights down below. I will sign off. I will bid you adieu. I will see you somewhere star side, somewhere in the stars. Good bye. Just as I've been uh, leaving the area, it looks more like what was the pub at the bottom might be turning into a tram store or something. So that's uh, something new that I didn't even know was happening. So I uh, think they're redoing all of this. So it looks like they're going to be reading into like a. <laughs> Seems like it, doesn't it? I know. But it does look more like this place is coming into a bit of a pram store. It's amazing what happens sometimes when you're on a random walk. You just bump into someone and then uh, you go around the corner and you find them again. But, I mean, we're right near the build site. And at least something's coming of this area anyway. So that's something new. Place to be uh, good. So there's one more bit of retail which is going in. Hey, you never know. A bit of rebirth from around the corner. This is a positive though, something. Anyway. Belting! What else have I been able to see for a while? Is this angle? <laughs> wow. So they've opened this up so it looks more like the throwing the trench in out like that and doing down here. So gives a closer look of uh, a part of the building which is going to be uh, really gone soon a few months and uh, everything down here will be gone because it'll all be cut off from down here so wowza <laughs> said it was going to be a short one and it's ended up being over 13 minutes <laughs> says what I want for time in there ah well but jeez this is uh, definitely uh, something different. I should be able to get now close to the carcass of a building which has long since had its death knell. Which, those of you that have seen some of the uh, abandoned ones, when they went in and they had to run around in there, chasing the security and stuff, well, hiding from security and everything. Like, we're all going to these lucky boys. I do like a bit of urbex. But, hey. I know some people out there don't like urbex, but when you know the dark arts of urbex, what happens, innit? But, anyway. Really from round here. But, slightly better view from up there. And then everything else. Anyway, this definitely is now going to be goodbye. So, goodbye.